Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to quickly go through uh, my marathon training block, the 14 weeks, um, how I structured my week to week and, and why. See the methods I kind of implemented in terms of how I put together this first ever marathon training block. Um, we'll dive into the uh, um, details now. Okay guys, so this is my marathon training block. This is, uh, obviously we'll break it down, this is weeks one to five. Um, those that haven't watched my channel before, this is my first ever uh, marathon. I've run on and off for about 10 years now, but I've finally decided to jump into um, a marathon. Um, I've only ever done um, what two, two 10k races in my life, and I've done one. Um, I did a metric marathon last year, which is basically 26k, um, which is basically a half plus a 5k. So I've only ever done three um, events, one of which is basically a half marathon. And this is my first marathon um obviously with that in mind i did a quite a bit of research prior to putting this together did a bit of, i did a bit of um investigations in terms of what other people were suggesting what a marathon training plan should look like what they, what they, what it should include and um, what types of run how far etc um, but then after doing all that um i wanted to try and tailor it back to me in terms of my experience what i find is most beneficial to me what types of runners i prefer um, and obviously as well fit into my schedule um there's no point a, a plan saying you have to do it this these days when it doesn't work for me so um that's kind of the background in terms of how i started doing the research i basically looked into it but just as a quick breakdown so mondays um are generally my tempo days so it again increments up um distance wise and that's roughly at marathon pace marathon goal pace so my marathon goal um I've got, I've got different goals at the top here, but my main one is the sub uh, 340 is my A goal, uh, so it's 512 per K. Um, so again, all those will be sub 515 generally. Um, there's a couple of like uh, reduced weeks where I've maybe t t ease off. But generally that tempo is to run at marathon pace. Again, again slowly creeping up distance wise. Um, just get used to running at that pace and seeing what it feels like. Uh, Tuesdays are generally strength and conditioning, generally my legs and my core, um, because I've only got a shorter run on the Wednesday. Wednesdays are generally my speed sessions, so again, it varies generally 3, 4 or 5k at pace, and then every fourth week I think I'm doing hill reps, just again, because hill reps are my weakness, um, I don't like hills, I don't know if anyone does, drop in the comments if you enjoy running up hills, um, I don't particularly like them, I don't particularly do well with them, and they tend to make me... Um, struggle just afterwards i tend to struggle after i've done a hill i seem to really hit a wall so i thought i'd do implement some hill reps basically look at my weaknesses and, and try and develop them um, and that's my speed work and then in the afternoons is generally going to be um again something conditioning chest or back and um, just again to make sure I'm, I'm strong across the body um thursdays is a rest day so again i'll focus on generally form row and stretching the yoga and um, Fridays is, as you can see, is my, it's either a tempo or a threshold. The, the aim would be to run a, t a threshold run. Um, but again, as the distances go up, I'll pivot and potentially do some tempo runs as well. And again, generally how I'm feeling. So I think on week two, when I was struggling, I ended up doing a more of a tempo trail rather than a threshold trail run. Um, but generally, again, the tempo. So again, the, the set at five minutes per K or less. So my, my threshold is anywhere between 4.40 and 450 generally um but again depending on how i feel it'll be sub five so again faster than marathon pace um just again but as the distances go up i won't be holding that close to threshold because threshold is generally something you can hold for an hour so um i'm not going to be able to run a 15k for example in an hour so i've slowed that down to um plus that's on recovery week anyway so yeah so friday's uh, a threshold run generally until it starts getting really high mileage and it'll become tempo slash threshold um and then Sundays are my generally my long runs, which again, I'm running at an easier pace. So for me, that'll be slower than a 5.30 pace, um, up to six up to six minutes per K pace for me at the minute. Um, as you can see, everything everything incrementally goes up. So 10, 10 obviously I don't need to read it through. It goes up slowly apart from the recovery week, which is a bit of an anomaly I've eased off. So total mileage, obviously, I'm doing it in, in, mile, in Kazan miles. Um, it slowly creeps up and then I drop back for a week um just for the recovery just to give my body a chance to recover i don't want to um again my first ever marathon i've never run these type of distances over this type 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 of length so again mine's a 14 week plan um i need to be considerate that i could run into an injury and that's just going to really set me back i could miss a week or two miss a few runs and that's not going to be beneficial so i'd rather 
he's into it slowly. There's not the mar it's not the biggest mileage in the world, but again, it's my first ever marathon. I think it's enough to um get me around in the pace I want to go around in. If it goes well, I obviously have aspirations to probably get obviously faster. Uh, one day maybe go closer to three hours, but right now I'm aiming for around 3.30, 3.40. Um, we'll see how it goes and then we'll review. So that's the week, once, that's the third week, one to five. Again, the plans are generally the same now. Um, Saturday's another rest day, so basically um, it's run, strength and conditioning, run with a bit of strength and conditioning, rest, run, rest, run, and then we repeat. Um, Sundays is, is a long run, but it's a very easy pace, so I can double that with a tempo run, plus that's good to almost do a back-to-back -back day in terms of marathon again i've been through the research i've done it's quite important to run on tired legs so um that's not going to be doing do me any harm so that's weeks one to five and then as we continue um week six again so the tempo runs start creeping up again mileage wise they've got to go further and further um again it's color coded so the green runs are generally trail runs the gray runs um of road runs but they're in my Reebok Energy Flat Ride. The yellow runs uh, are again road runs, but in my Hocker Rincon 2, so they're generally a bit quicker. Um, I'm undecided as to which shoe to wear for the marathon. I was pretty sure I was going to wear the Reebok, which is why most of my long runs are in the, are in the Reebok. Um, however, there's more cushion, um, a bigger stack height in the, in the Hocker, so um, I'm going to try both at the, long, at the long, long distances as the what goes on and I think I'll decide near the end in terms of which one I think would suit me better um, and how fit I am if, if I'm going to be almost not racing the marathon but rather than just running the marathon I think I might lean towards the, uh, the hoker but we'll see um, so again everything creeps, creeps up into incrementally um, again the speed works always four five or six well actually it's going up slightly so four six hills seven five and I think it's another hills so it's every three or four weeks I do a hill repeat um, Threshold runs, again, creeping up distance-wise. Again, once we get up to these high reps, and it's going to take me long, longer than an hour, I'll, um, I'll aim for five. Actually, I've, I've basically put the paces on there. Basically, I've, I've listed it so exactly I can see. Most of the runs tell me where I'm going, the pace I'm running at, the distance I need to cover, and a rough idea of the time it's going to take me. Obviously, things can change. It's just I like having plans in place that I can stick to if I can. Um and again, if I'm feeling good, I can go slightly quicker. If I'm not feeling so great, I can go slightly slower. This isn't, as you've probably seen from my previous videos, when I've pivoted already on week two. Um, this is a plan, but it's not It's not set in concrete. I can alter it. I can change it. Um, if I feel like it's too much, I'll drop the mileage down a little bit, maybe. If I feel like it's not enough, I could add mileage on at the end. Um, and again, the long ones are the main staple of the, staple of the um, training plan. That's slowly creeping up further and further. Um 34k, I think I might max out 34. Yeah, so um, this is obviously week six to ten. Um, so again, the mileage is creeping up, but again, I don't really drop back down now. So even on the recovery week for the second time, that's week nine. Um, I don't this time. I don't drop down the mileage because obviously I need to keep up in the mileage. All we do is slow down, slow slow the uh, the paces down. So rather than that being a a fast workout, it's more of a um, a steady workout and then again rather than being threshold of tempo it's a fairly steezy trail run but the mileage but the mileage is still there um and then that leaves us a week 10 and again fairly high mileage i think a, a fairly high mileage i think i do, do it oh no i gotta go a bit higher than that so we're creeping up slowly week 10 and then that leaves um weeks 11 12 13 and 14 um 14 is obviously race week so um I'll start the taper in week 13. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, again, the tempo runs are getting up to half marathon distance. Um, if, I, if I get to this point, kind of around the week 11, week 12, and I'm able to run, well, I'm able to run um, half marathons at fast in this pace now, but um, coinciding with all the extra mileage, if I'm able to, I'm able to run these these time, these distances in these times, I'll be fairly confident that I'm in a, I'm in a good place. Um, I've penciled in... Um, Obviously, different attempts, maybe like a PB even there, but um, again, I'll see how I feel. I don't need to push myself this close to a marathon. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, everything creeps up. I kind of max out in the last two weeks before I taper at 76 and 75k, which is around just under 50 miles. Um, again, it's not the highest mileage in the world. Some people might want to go up to 80, 90, 100k um, or more. 
Um, I, for me, this fits in. This the time wise, it's going to take me to do it. The distances I'm, I'm planning on running, the paces I'm planning on running. I think this will work. Again, I can. It can be adjusted. Um, if if I think it's too easy or too hard at the minute, it seems to be about right. Um, my legs are feeling like I'm in a marathon training block, but they're not feeling exhausted at any point. So, um, but yes, yeah, so the last few bits to touch upon is the taper. So again, do, through my research, I've been uh, kind of educated that tapers are beneficial. You might get a couple of extra percent of performance at the end of um, the end of that second week on race day. So again, I've dropped back the mileage back down to give my legs a chance to recover, but it's still a, a decent week. Uh, so I still do a normal wish tempo run on the Monday. Um, I, don't, I lose the speed up session that, that first week and just concentrate on strength and conditioning. Um, again, I do a normal wish threshold slash tempo run on the Friday, slightly less distance, obviously. And then I do a slower, shorter, well, not slower, I do a slightly quicker, sorry, shorter, uh, long run, but obviously not really a long run. But it drops the mileage back down. And then the last week, um, I just do two shortish runs, but at a decent pace, so I don't get lethargic in my legs. In my eyes, that will give me time to recover, my legs to refresh. Um, so I'll be almost chomping at the bit come come uh, marathon race day, and I'll be I'll be raring to go. So that's basically the plan. I said it tops out. Um, I think it, yeah, it says on there. So I'll do a total of about seven hundred fifty kilometers, four hundred sixty five miles, um, through the whole fourteen weeks, um, not including the race itself. So basically, that's it, guys. That's the um, the basics of my marathon training block that's the plan it looks as it as it stands right now as it looks like um drop in the comments anyone that's run marathons before multiple marathons or experience at running marathons who've done multiple training blocks or or even just done one and they've had experience of going through a block uh drop in the comments anything you would do differently um anything in there that looks pretty good um again this is my first ever marathon training block i'm not sitting here as a coming to be an expert i'm just sharing this um just as information this is what i'm doing and, and, and the reasons as to why i'm doing it um again it's more of a record for myself as also when I, when I go into the next marathon training block again i can refer back to this um and i can kind of tweak what what what, what worked what what didn't um i'm doing quite a bit of trail running um as part of this block um that's more just again to spread the miles you get across across my rotation of shoes i don't want to hammer them, my road shoes and then be dead before i get to marathon again other people that have got um more shoes in their rotation or i've got the ability to buy new shoes nearer the time um might do it might, might do it slightly differently i'd probably do it differently if i had the opportunity to buy a, a marathon race shoe just near towards the end of the block um i don't have that luxury so i'm not going to do that um but yeah so drop in the comments if you've got any advice tips um i'd, I'd love to hear from more experienced runners than myself in terms of what they would do differently um but again, like I said, my research was to look at a, a, um, the, the key cornerstones of a marathon training block and then tweak it to my to suit me. Um, so the main ones, obviously, the key ones were obviously make sure there's a long run um, and make sure it creeps up as high as it can go in terms of close to the distance you're going to be running. Um, make sure there's tempo runs at the pace you're trying to run at. There's no point trying to run, run everything slower than marathon goal pace and then suddenly it's just, it's just shock to the system when you're trying to run at that pace. And, and then obviously make sure there's a, there's bits of speed work in there to stop your legs getting lethargic and slow and heavy. Um, and then the threshold is obviously a key component in terms of aerobic base. If you're running around steady state threshold pace, you do get a lot of aerobic benefit, which again, a marathon is an aerobic event. So I, I wanted them four elements in there week to week. Um, I've worked on the mileage and I've tweaked it up constantly over over the couple of months as I was planning this, this uh, training block. I think I've got it about right in terms of the distance, in terms of fit it into my life and what I can run um, back to back to back to back. I don't. I could easily stick down 70k a week and creep up and, and, and top out at 100. I think that'd be too much and I think I'll end up getting really lethargic legs and heavy legged or I'd get an injury. Um, so I'm sticking with this. Um, I might be wrong, but again, the whole point is to live the live the block, come out the other side um, and see how I do. If, if I get to marathon and I'm completely... Um, under trained then obviously I'll tweak it and do more add more mileage in and vice versa if I do really well then obviously something's gone quite well on the block so um, it's all through experience this is my first experience of a marathon so I'll um, I will like I said I'll, I'll feed back as obviously I'll do more vlogs as, as the block's going on but at the end after I've done the marathon actual race day vlog 
I'll probably do a recap in terms of how the block overall went and if, if I make any changes. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, again, drop in the comments if you're doing a marathon trend block at the moment. Um, have you run any marathons in the past? How many have you run? What are your staple training methods in terms of training for a marathon? Actually, it'd be good to share one with myself in terms of your advice and experience, but also everybody else is watching. Um, help everybody else who's training for a marathon. Actually, this is my first. There'll be other people out there running their first. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I do appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one.